Hey fish friends, uh, Daisy here from Days for Days and I just want to quickly update you guys on my tank again. Alright, let's run this through real quick. I got no plants, didn't quarantine them, put them into the tank. Um, apparently they had pesticides, killed the majority of my fish, was able to save six. Alright, now that that's finished... Let me tell you what I did yesterday, all right? So, <clears throat> yesterday, I filled it back up with water all the way to the top, around 12. Um, I went to the store around 4, maybe 5, 5. Got some activated carbon from uh, Petco, along with a net for it. This one right here. Um, I let that in there the minute I got it. I put it in there, and I'm actually just keeping it there. I think that would be the best. And, uh, let's see what else happened. I got a new conditioner, water conditioner from Seacam. I have the stability one, but I was like, you know what, maybe, maybe something happened, you know? Okay. Sorry, my focus is... Ah, there we go. Alright, so I got the Prime. And, um, when I put the Stability in and the new water, and the, uh, the activated carbon, immediately, you guys, the whole tank was covered in bubbles. Like, the walls, not so much. But the new plants that I got, they were, it was like they were infested with bubbles. It was extreme, and so I ended up putting the prime in there, and I guess it got all those toxins and stuff, and it broke them up, and it it just got rid of them, which is really awesome, and I know you may have noticed that I already have some fish in there, so it wasn't, I literally just finished putting those fish in, but I'm watching them, and I'm, I don't know if they're gonna be in there, because for long... Because, um, cool. I did the test strips. I am getting a test kit extremely soon. I had already ordered one online, so because they're cheaper than the ones in store. And, uh, their tank they were in, I finished taking them out, obviously, and uh, drained it down. I think I'm actually gonna end up using it as a quarantine tank for my fish. Um,. So what I kind of was thinking, maybe like a beta sorority type. I know they're not allowed to be with dwarf gouramis unless it's heavily planted and pretty big. And at this moment, I only have six fish. One, which requires five gallons. The other one, which requires four gallons because you stay that size. Like, that's it. Um, these, which require one gallon because there's one inch. And I pretty much have everything else empty. Maybe I'll get a dwarf frog as well, which I would not mind. And I'm seeing his behavior, and usually he would be hanging around, um... Okay, that was good. Oh, sorry. I zoomed in so you guys didn't see. Usually hangs around, like, dark spots, and usually towards the top. But now I'm thinking maybe he would just be towards the top because of the Serpe Tetras and the Silver Skirt Tetras. They would literally nip at him. And so I think that's what just caused him to stay like in one corner. But as you can see right now, like in their quarantine tank, I have never seen fish that apparently people say can be bullies and nippers. That dwarf grommy I got from Petco has been... The most calm dwarf gourami I have ever heard of. It's like one of those dream gouramis that everyone wishes they had. so Because they're not that nippy. And he was in there with my platys and my pleco. And they were swimming around perfectly. There was never any chasing. And I guess he's just staying back there because he's a little camera shy at the moment. Even though he seriously can't hide. Um, I will obviously be taking uh, advantage of those Black Friday sales, especially for plants. Um, I think I have enough wood in here, the driftwood back there, 
and then this one right here um, all I really want to do is heavily plant this in time because I do want to get again uh, female betas or betas betas is that is that better <laughs> and um, well I'm currently I have like a small cough I guess you can say and I want to make sure it's heavily planted enough for them not to cause so much stress um, since I do have a 40 breeder, people were saying, oh, hey, you can get actually, like, 15 female betas. But, I don't feel comfortable with that amount of betas in, in a 40 breeder, especially with those back there. But I'm pretty sure those 15 is if you don't have any more, uh, stocking in here. And, as you can see, it is fairly empty. Um, the plants, the only ones that took the most damage from me not filling up the tank right away were my uh, Italian Val or jung Jungle Val I keep forgetting which one I got which was those um, but the ones that did stay planted are pretty healthy the one back there um, there was another one here okay I can't find it oh like the one back there but they lost their color some just uh, the majority lost their color um, with these, well, ever since I put in the carbon and the, uh, the prime, my fish are good. You see absolutely no bubbles. It was crazy. On the amount of bubbles that they had, I was extremely amazed that that's pretty much all the toxins that the prime, that the water conditioners and the carbon together were taking out. Um, I do not end up putting my fish in the morning because I had a, uh, I had an event that I had to go to that was extremely important. And then... <coughs> sorry. <coughs> yeah, just a small cough. Um, I had an event that required me to be there around 7 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. And I was very tired and I ended up going to sleep and I didn't wake up until 5. And my fish are there. I think this one, Platy's kind of freaked out because it feels like it's alone. In reality, the other three are right there, which I find pretty funny. And then my dwarf Garami seems to be enjoying his space. Like, being able to swim so freely and not be afraid. I just... Yeah, he just... It's just if he starts turning into a bully, then I'm going to be very upset. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take him out. If, um... If I do end up getting more fish, just so that they won't be bullied by him. If, you know, if I get more fish, which I'm pretty sure I am. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for those of you that helped me and supported me. And um, I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed day. God bless you guys all. And thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you guys on my next stalking video.